What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Item Review for you and today we're taking a look at the Butcher which is back in Borderlands 3 and it is a Legendary this time instead of a Pearlescent as you can see right here, look at this thing. This thing looks really cool man, I like the skin, the gold with the red, very nice looking thing there man. And um, so yeah, so what is it about this gun? that's so good and how do you get it and all that good stuff so this one the version that i got is the subsidized butcher uh it's got 549 times three damage uh 69 accuracy 82 percent handling reload of 3.1 seconds fire rate 9.38 per second max size 13 bonus stats include a 10 percent critical hit damage 71 percent weapon damage 141 percent negative weapon accuracy which sounds brutal uh, 33% weapon fire rate, 25% weapon shield capacity. You'll see that here in just a second. Uh, and the shield capacity is 3,569. The red text on this gun says fresh meat. And that is uh, yet again a throwback to the exact same red text that it had on Borderlands 2. And that red text is a reference to a boss monster from Diablo. And then, which is yet another video game, which seems to have had a uh, fairly heavy uh, influence on the Borderlands series. So... Let's take this thing into the proving grounds and see what it can do, shall we? Let's. Let's get this iridium first, though, man. Gotta have this stuff, dude. Gotta have that. Gotta have that iridium. All right, let's slide in here and see what we got. I have not even used this thing myself yet. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> ho ho holy crap. Does it uh, occasionally not consume ammo? We're going to take a look here. Yep, occasionally it puts ammo back in the mag. I don't know if you saw that. It happened real quick. Uh, but let's bring out our uh, clone and let him do some work as well. Let's watch him go into to work here. This way you can kind of see the gun in use. Uh, the reload speed is really nice and crispy. Watch this. Boom. It's a lot crispier for the, uh, the clone. <laughs> he has some perks in our skill tree that helps him with that. I'm not, even, uh, I'm not even sending out my drone yet. That's how good everything's going here for us. I'm just kind of watching this guy do work, you know? Go, go, clone, go. You're doing good, kid. You're doing good. Look at that reload. Very nice. Uh, let's bring him over here so he can get a little more involved in the action. There you go. And we'll dive over here and get this guy. This thing melts, dude. This thing is very nice. Uh, I like the sound of it, too. I don't know if you guys are hearing the, uh, the sound of it very well, but it's got a nice uh, chunkiness that I really like. And the gun is like... Ch -ch 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 -ch. And uh, there's the shield that we were talking about. So uh, let's see if one of these dudes will spit at us or something. Maybe we can block it with our shield. Uh, not a lot of projectiles coming our way because, you know, we're not dealing with dudes that shoot bullets at us. We're dealing with spider ants. Those guys are a different kind of butt, you know? Those guys are a different kind of butt. And we're going to have our clone back already here, huh? We're going to send the drone out, let him put some radiation on these kids. Booyah! The, um... That negative accuracy that it uh, listed on the card, I'm not really seeing any issue with accuracy here, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just that good. <laughs> that's not it? No? Why is everybody laughing? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this thing is uh, this thing's pretty nice, guys. I'll be honest. Now, that's here's the gun. really cool part. To get this gun, you don't have to go farm for it. Sort of. <laughs> you sort of do, but you sort of don't. All right, let me explain. So there is an enemy that rarely spawns in Skywell uh, 27, and his name is Dinklebot. And I will uh, post a video uh, showing how to farm him and uh, and what he drops. Basically, he drops you a Ludogram that you then can take to Crazy Earl in exchange for loot. Oh, God, I teleported way back here. I forgot where he was at. But anyhow, you can uh, you can exchange your lootogram for uh, loot from Crazy Earl. Now, the funny thing is, and I didn't discover this. Full credit goes to Jolts Dude One Three Nine. If you guys haven't checked him out, please do. He's the one that discovered this. But if you turn in a bunch of lootograms to Crazy Earl, sometimes it'll be on the first one. Sometimes it'll take you know 20, 30, 50, whatever lootograms turning into him. After a while. Crazy Earl will finally give you a butcher. But in the meantime, he gives you a bunch of white items. And you're thinking, because the Ludogram comes out as this legendary item. You're like, oh crap, this is going to be something awesome. 
and every single time you turn it in, he's just like, oh yeah, here, have a white item. And you're, <laughs> you're sitting there thinking, dude, the Ludogram's, a, it was a legendary. Well, you just gotta keep at it, man. Just keep at it. I know it's gonna feel like he's not gonna drop you anything, but eventually he's gonna give you a butcher. So <laughs> you gotta, you gotta just put some patience and some work into it. And you will have to go farm in Skywell 27 to get those Ludograms and just turn them into Crazy Earl as much as possible so you can get this gun. So, overall, what do I think about this gun? It's badass. It's very good, highly worth having. Uh, crazy damage, the fact that occasionally it doesn't even consume ammo, uh, it makes it even better. Um, there's really, I got nothing bad to say about this gun, even though it's supposed to be negative accuracy on mine. It's, um, it's just wrecking, dudes. It's just wrecking face, man. There's no two ways about it. This thing is definitely good. So let me know down in the comment section below. Have you guys found one of these yet? Have you got one from Crazy Earl? Have you got it from somewhere else? I don't think that this can come from anywhere else, honestly. I think Crazy Earl is your only way to get it. And uh, again, full credit goes to Jolts Dude for figuring that out. I can't take credit for that. And uh, also big thanks to Jolts Dude for sending me this butcher. Because I did not have time to go farm 50 Ludograms. Or however many it's going to end up taking, you know what I mean? <laughs> like I said, you could get it on the first one, but I turned in about 12 to him, hadn't gotten anything, so I was ready to move on. <laughs> but Jolt's dude, he put in the legwork, and he was able to get it. So let me know down in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this gun? Is this something you're going to spend the time on getting those Ludograms and turn it into Crazy Earl so you can get this thing? Or do you like some other shotgun even better? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you could, take a second, hit that like button, hit subscribe for more. Tap that bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. Like I said before, lots of videos coming soon. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.